Well, what do we got for today? What do we got? Hold on. Have I got something on my table? You know I like blue, right? And, oh, you know I like denim micarta, don't you? And, oh, I, okay, never mind. Here we go. Well, I'm backed up pretty far for this one, but we have more. We have more at the door. I'm going to do a combo combo deal. How about that? You want some blue denim? Huh? And uh, I do. Uh, this is cool. You know what? The first thing I got, though, was, and let's bag it up again, was this. Was this. Um, which is the Feist by Kaiser. 154 cm, I think we're 154 cm, or 154 cm, or 154 cm. You like 154 cm? I hope you do, because we got a hell of a lot of it on the table here. Okay. You know what? Beats the hell out of Aus 10 or 440 or whatever for me. I mean, I'm I'm good with 154 cm. I did some reading up on it months ago, maybe even a year ago, and it was like a lot of custom knife makers like it for the way it finishes and its workability, and you can give it a good polish, and you can, you know, blah, blah, blah. So there's a lot of stuff. This is not CPM 154, so this is not the powdered metallurgy version, but it's the same formula. Um, so, but yes, vice, denim, and uh, so I did a video on this one. Cool, very lightweight. We all good with that, right? And if you want something that's in the pocket, super discreet, super, super lightweight, bingo, right? But that, we ain't doing this for you, buddy. We're doing it for these guys. Now, I recently acquired these lovelies from Kaiser. So, and they are denim and uh, blue micarta. And so you've got a varying look here. And so like looks like a comfortable old pair of jeans, doesn't it? Or if you want to, you can take some mineral oil, you know, food grade mineral oil, dye them down, you know, just get them all wet, dump the scales in there, dump the whole knife in there. What the hell? And it'd be nice and lubed up by that time. Uh, but then it'll darken this down. For how long? I don't know. You know, I've seen them kind of dry back out again. But over time, with enough handling and stuff, it'll kind of darken it. So, I mean, does this bother me? No, nah, not when it's blue denim, you know, because you kind of expect that. But check it out. Now, okay, so you remember back in the day, uh, was it last millennium? I can't remember. Um... When the sheepdog came out originally, now they're still out there, um, there was a flipper tab. Okay, do you remember that? Remember that flipper tab? Big, stocky flipper tab, about that tall. Big, clunky, son of a gun. I was going to say something else, but big, clunky, son of a gun. So this is, of course, Chris Conaway, sheepdog knives. Okay, so I had the XL in my carta, correct? Okay. Um, and I'm getting to this in a roundabout way, but I sent this off to BJ Hill and I said, I don't want the flipper tab. But then again, there's no hole or anything to be able to kick it out. If I don't have a flipper tab, there's no other way to get this out. So he cut off the flipper tab and put a, a hole on here. So he's probably violated spider codes, <laughs> you know, whatever laws of possession or I don't know. But so... I had him do this. I had this on my table sale. Nobody wants to buy it. Gosh, these things cost about like a hundred bucks. But then I've got like 150 in it with the with the thing. Probably more than probably more like 175 by the time he did the tab delete and drill the hole in here. But still, I mean, this is the XL. And I liked this whole concept. And I think he's refined like how he's doing the plate where he's placing the hole and everything there but I mean this uh works great for me I like it of course you got contact patch because you don't have the big old flipper tab hanging down there going like this giving you this much contact oh by the way I think he did put an edge on there didn't he yeah he did that's not factory okay so super way cool okay so I go 
you know, and he, he's been doing that, I mean, for well over a year, right? And I kept thinking, I wonder if Kaiser will see my video or see that he's doing that or rethink this thing, okay? And I did a BJ Hill knife mod video, I mean, where he did some knife mods on Spyderco stuff for me and, and of course, the Sheepdog XL, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, quite a while back, year and a half, I don't know. So here this comes, right? Holy moly, moly, Batman. I mean, look at this. Of course, I like this. Okay, I do like this better than the round hole. Okay, so that's cool. Um, and this is the standard size model. This is not the XL. So are you ready? Are you ready for an XL? I am. I told Kaiser I am totally ready for an XL. Okay, is that three and a half? Down there it is. So what is it? 3.35, okay? I think that's kind of how they call that. And then it's, you know, almost three and three quarter on the noggin at 19 and a half centimeters, okay? So, yeah, you know, it, it's probably got about 3.25, 3.3 inch cutting edge on it. Yeah, yeah, three and a quarter cutting edge on it. So, I mean, this is the standard size. Even when you got them in, like, titanium and stuff, they this is the size that they were. This is their main size. It's not XL. It's not many, okay? So that's what this is. I don't get this, and sometimes I think maybe somebody's trying too hard when it, like, love it freely, take it easy. Is, is there some kind of denim jeans that have a rivet on them that says that because I'm not familiar with that. So I wouldn't have had love it freely. I might have had take it easy and drink it slowly, something, but I wouldn't have had love it, e love it freely. I don't know, a knife blade. Mm, I love knives. Okay, so I can't say don't love them knives, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, so uh product denim it should be project denim denim shouldn't it be project denim because this is their project right okay so then here's it for you bag lighter crazy sons of oh god okay it was it was uh the liner was out of the way it just wasn't dropping we're gonna mess with that in fact i'm, I'm really not happy i'm gonna i'm gonna do it right now give me a little back off jack off Okay, let me try this. Oh, 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 now she loves me too much. Hold on. Oh, it's still center. Oh, that didn't take much, did it? No, no play. Somebody yanked and cranked at the factory a little too much. People are probably going, why isn't it dropping? Mine drops like a crazy man. Well, this one does now. Okay, okay, yeah. I was just like, well, I'll fix that when we disassemble. Whew, it's fixed. It is done fixed. Okay, so this is the bag lighter, not the XL. I, You know, I've got the, a button lock XL still. Okay, four inch blade, nine inches overall length. Love it. Um, but this is your standard bag lighter. It's not the mini, and the mini's kind of cool. The mini's kind of cool for what it is because really I like the overall design of this knife. It makes sense, but it's a good looking design too. I mean, it's great when it's good looking and so usable and carryable okay check it out it's got i mean it's got liners okay they're visible they're not nested all that kind of stuff it's got deep carry pocket clip and you can go left-handed with it it's got ambidextrous thumb studs of course the liner lock favors right handers because of the way it's set up but i mean the lockup is pretty good 35 percent and boy she wants to just take that thumb right off doesn't she don't get too anxious, honey. I'll give you an opportunity later. Um, jumping on top, all that. Okay, so, and by the way, by the way, ah, uh, three and a half, and let's just call it three and a half to hell with it. 90 millimeters and 7.8 overall length at right at 20 centimeters. So a little bit longer blade and a little bit longer overall length, actually, 
than that sheepdog, but you wouldn't know it, would you? Really, it's that's hard to spot. That's pretty close. And this one looks like it's probably going to win the wrestling match anyhow. Because this baby, she's a heavyweight. Oh, and she's going to drop too. She's going to drop too. And she's got a lot of G imping on top of that blade. And you know what? I, they did this black wash. And you know, I tend to favor more of either a satin or just a stone wash. And this is like a stone wash here. Um... I don't know. I think with the black with the black wash, it's okay. It's not like a DLC coat. You know what I'm saying? To where it just marks up too easy when you get into the wrong kind of material you're cutting. Um, and you know, it 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 it's okay with with this blue denim my card. I think it's a good look. I I, I don't mind it. Okay. Mm, and I'd like to see it in stone wash too, just to compare, but. I think this black wash works. It works for it. Okay, and I definitely like the fact that they did put something here as opposed to a nothingness here. See what I'm saying? Um, okay, so let's put these down just for a moment because I want to show you the pouch. See, the pouch, it's all about the pouch, right? It is. It's, it's like, okay, so I got the Feist because I just wanted the pouch. Now I've got a box with just a pouch in it because you could get them alone, okay? If you've gone on Kaiser website or you go on Mojave Outdoors, which is like the biggest single Kaiser dealer out there, okay? So this was, this was crazy because here's the thing. I mean, and you probably know it if you've got one of these denim, denim ones, but you got a pocket, you know, all along here. So you got four pockets. This could be a little you know, tool or whatever you want to, you know, if you want to put your wee you know, tool in here and carry it. Or you can go, that's the cool thing is, is you can also do this. I probably don't need that bit there, but I mean, you're going to bring your driver with you. Then you can do this as well. And you can slide this down in through here all the way like that. So it goes down into the next pocket. So, so does this. So any... But you can also just use a half a pocket thing, too, or all the way. So um, that's cool. So you can put several knives in if you're just going to go meet with some buddies or whatever and have a little knife get together, just EDC gear type thing. You can do this, and why not? Where did I just throw my damn bit? Okay, but so... Fold, fold, bang, and then you've got this here, which is just a Velcro. I mean, if you want to take this off, you can, or you can leave it on. Uh, it's the Kaiser Load Logo Project Denim, but this is, I mean, I think they were selling these for like 20 bucks a shot. So, I mean, when you buy one of these knives, and I think these knives here are like somewhere around $75 and maybe after discount like you, you like white mountain knives i don't these are not exclusive for anything that i know of so um <clears throat> if it's 75 and you get $7 off cuz 10% discount on white mountain knives ltk so then let's say you get them at 68 bucks but this is like a $20 value so then what do you 48 bucks, 50. I mean, I, I don't think you're getting ripped off is what I'm trying to say. I think you, I like the bargain. I, I like the value of these when you get this thing. And I can't believe they're doing it like that because it seems almost uh, suspect that it's uh, such a good deal because I do like these pouches. I mean, you can grab them, you can put some gear in them and just take a single one of these or two of them and take about eight different knives with you, and that's pretty easy. Now, I've got other knife carrying stuff, you know, hard case stuff and big knife rolls and whatever. But I mean, these are just n no different than having just a standard pouch, you know, from another, and this one's Leong Ma, but I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, it's small, it's easy to carry, and you can put full-size knives in it. So, I mean, I just find it to be way cool and so enough talking about how cool the denim roll-up is because i just think it is way cool 
Now, the bag lighter. Okay, how much does it weigh? We know how long it is and all that the blade is and everything. Three and a half inch blade. And what kind of steel? 154C. Okay, 3.2 ounces. Not bad, huh? And 4.5. Yikes. Okay, at 128. Now this is 90. Try this one. Try the Feist. I don't know if it'll even register. <laughs> it's 55. It's 55. What is that? Ounces? Is it two point something? Oh, barely. Doesn't even hit two. Wow. So let's just call it two ounces. But that is that is nothing. And one thing I do like about the Feist, it's it, I find it, and I, I'm not some young, nimble, like, you know, super flipper artist or something, but I find it really easy to deploy. So if you're a guy that's a little suspect about wanting to even try a front flipper or anything, I think this is one that you could uh, you could start with to master. Uh, others can get a little complicated and a little tricky, but this one, no, nah, I, I, I think this would be a good one to start with. And man, is that light. But is it good looking? And it came with the damn denim roll up. So, you know, whatever. I just. Now, um, Ergos. Well, Sheepdog. Chris Conaway. I mean, very nice. I like the Ergos on it. Um, really, this pass through is easy. It's easy to disengage. Okay. And so you see where that little nub hits me? That protects you from amputation. Okay. Yes. Please don't amputate me. Okay, I won't. Here. Okay, so really, that's a nice little fidget factor droppy thing. And of course, no, you don't have a flipper tap. I get you. And you don't have a front flipper top flipper ding, 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 ding. You know, 800 different ways to open it. No, you don't need it. Get over it. Go get you a fidget spinner. <laughs> just, no, I'm just doing that because people say that sometimes because they... It drives them crazy that guys fidget with their knives. You know what? You want to fidget with your knives? Fidget with your damn knives. I mean, I was talking to Leong Ma the other day when I was eating barbecue. Oh, that he paid for it. Oh, got him. Got you, Leong. But, I mean, I go, some people are just like, just fidget with like a little toy. What's wrong with you? They're, they're for work. And Leong started shaking his head. And I go, I said, I, I, I'm with you, brother. I mean, knives are for whatever you want them to be for you because you know what? It's your joy and your toy. And you can do whatever the hell with it you want to do with it. And I totally agree. So, yes. I mean, until I said, until the wife throws a pillow at you while you're flipping your damn thing and she's trying to watch a movie across the room, and she goes, stop that! Until then, you can do whatever you want. But I ain't fighting your wife, okay? That's 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 the end of my tyranny right there. So, but uh, yeah, bag lighter in the same light as the sheepdog, super great ergos, slender, lightweight, easy to use, full size knife. Thrust it right through the tip of my finger. Why not? It's lovely, and this is a lot lighter than the sheepdog. Like I said. Eh, half inch, that's it. 13 millimeter. Are we at zero? Yes, we are. Okay. And what's this? Three? Yeah, three millimeter. Okay. So what do we got on this dog? Another three, probably. Yeah, three millimeter. Uh, how fat are you, dude? Mm, not very. God, actually, this is measuring thinner this is measuring at a 0.47. Is that that cannot be right, right? Yeah, it is. Actually, the sheepdog is more slender than the bag lighter. Go figure. But oh baby. Yeah, it weighs more. And deep carry pocket clip. Also, you know, those screws are flat. They're not gonna screw up with the the screws are not going to screw up with your, you know, with your pocket, the lip of your pocket going in. But then, you know, they machined an area out, so no, it's not, not right hand friendly. Okay, but they laid this on top of the scale. Okay, so 
That's why right and left hand. Okay. Now, what was the other one? Oh, the Feist. Did they machine an area out for this? Yeah, they did, didn't they? And so, yeah, that's a right hand only. So here's the two that God intended for you to carry. This has been bastardized for those left-hand people. Ugh. Um, I love to give them a hard time. I know so many left-handed people. Uh, but, yes, is uh, uh, that I just like this whole denim setup myself. Uh, I think it was interesting. I, I was puzzling over what, what came upon them to think about doing this. But, my friends, it just won't be a complete transformation until this comes out in blue denim micarta with uh without the flipper tab and then you put this elongated thing here holy moly batman then that would make it a trifecta wouldn't it wow that is because then you'd have the mini then you'd have this one then you'd have the xl on the sheepdog side and do you see that 10 v1 on blade hq you, you probably have see it took me a while before i became aware of it so that was a good buy, I thought, for no more than they were charging for them. Uh, 10V blade steel, I believe, is what it was. So I heard good things about 10V. So, okay, we're good there. So we're going to go cheap with the sheep. Let's go cheap with the sheep. Since this is now, apparently I solved the bag lighter problem with like a half, a quarter of a turn. And we got number eights on here. So let's all get the cheering section going for that. Bank, there goes that one dropping right out like a rock. Come on, next. Uh, this one's good. See? You only thought it was difficult. Oh, everything's falling out now. We got the pivot surround. Yeah, I'm going to like uh, bitch and moan and drink lots of beer. That's going to be my logo around there. <laughs> okay, now you're going, you do bitch and moan a lot. And, eh, what the hell am I doing? Can I pop this off? Well, if I do, I'll take the whole liner and everything, won't I? Yeah, I will. But it's, it's nested. It's nested. And do we have a squared off? Not on this end. And we got no access on this end. Let's dump the bearings on the table. They're a kind of a big old hardy ring, aren't they? What were they thinking about doing multi-row? Come on, give me give me a look. That is uh, strange, but yeah, they look good. And it's clean inside. Yikes. It's almost scary good. Um, so what did I... Oh, okay, I see, I see. You see where it's squared off here. Okay, okay, okay. So I was going, how, how is this behaving so well? Yeah, because we got it squared off. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's nested in here as well. Your standoffs are pretty, uh, pretty stout, pretty decent. So uh, all together, wow, clean. I'm, it, is, it is good. So now that I've cleaned out the clean knife that didn't need any cleaning, uh, yeah, I didn't clean it at all. I'm just lying to you. Okay, so I'm just going to throw it back together. God, that drops down on there. Not a problem. Okay. Quart and a half, 10W40. And, oh, well, you can see that they're skeletonized here as well, too. I mean, go with that, right? And, uh, bingo. So we got the squared off part that goes direct, correctly and directly so that this will be oriented the way except that's the surround so that will actually you could do that however you wanted to actually couldn't you you can move that surround ring to any orientation you want oh there we go take it easy on top okay we're going eagles okay now back here and you know how many times i saw the eagles in concert at least three Okay, and pop it. Oh, and before we do anything, where are we going to put the take it easy on the top? Come on, roll around. Let's get, let's get. 
Well, I used to be standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona, but uh, <laughs> that's how I met my wife. There's a girl, my lord, in a flatbed Ford. Okay, now. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Now. And let's pop you little boys in there. So this is not difficult, and it was very clean too, and no problems with the hardware. And we got number eight screws, and you don't even have to take the pocket clip off to dump it. And you get nested liners, so that explains part of the reason why it's slender like it is, as opposed to the bag lighter that has liners that are showing, so that adds to the, to the stacked height there, you know, with the scales and everything. So you buried them. But look at those standoffs. Whew. Man, are we a mini hinderer or something? That almost looks like hinderer standoffs. Those, those are bangers. Okay, now. Nah, I didn't crush the pivot screw too hard, did I? It's ready to drop. I think we got it. Uh, let's just make sure we we aren't loose or got... Nah, nah, we're good. We're good. Are we centered? Yeah, baby. We all good. So, my friends, in conclusion, I would like to say that denim is a good thing, and you just can't get too much of it. And guess what? We just know to go big. Go big, you know? I'm taking you through the drive-thru. You want to supersize that? Would you like to supersize that, sir? Yes, I would. I'd like to supersize it. Give me one of these blue denim. Give me one of these roll-up pouches. Shit, can you imagine what the inside little pouches have to be like when you got a dog like this? <laughs> Come on, this might fit in one of those things, but that? I have a feeling we're going to have to reconstruct the inner, the inner sanctum there of the denim roll-up. But still, I know, and this is stupid and it's impractical to carry and everything like that, which means I love it, okay? That's, that's the bottom line there gotta have one of these don't care i just want to scare people that's it all right i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave you to it damn it you do want to scare people don't you because we do love them knives so you guys stay sharp